Welcome to my studio. Thanks for dropping by. Today I'm going to give you my four tips for using tutorials to quickly improve your art. This idea occurred to me as I was following this tutorial on drawing Will Smith that Kirsty Partridge put together for her supporters on Patreon. One thing I've always struggled with is completing portraits of people in color. This subject I have shied away from because I couldn't see the colors within the skin and figure out how to layer them without making them look flat or like plastic. I have followed a few tutorials from various artists and still struggle to get the realistic look I love so much. As you can see, while the artwork did capture a likeness, it wasn't at the level I was happy with. So I took on the challenge to really learn what to look for and how to layer skin tones. And here are my top four tips that I came up with to improve quickly using tutorials. My first tip is to find someone that works in a similar manner as you. Everyone has their own techniques for working with their mediums. It doesn't matter how much you like an artist's work, if you don't work in a similar manner, you will struggle and more than likely be unhappy with the results. Finding that right person may take some time, but you will grow exponentially once you do. Tip number two, find someone that talks your language. Now, I'm not speaking of a native tongue, though that is helpful, or dialect, but instead someone that explains things in a manner that you understand. Have you ever listened to various artists explain the same thing or same techniques? And while there are similarities to what each says, one makes more sense to you than another just because of the manner they explained it in. This is important so you don't only have a demonstration in front of you, but also the verbal instruction that is easy for you to follow and understand. Tip number three, identify one or two goals for each tutorial you follow to concentrate on. While the finished artwork may draw you in, what is it about that artwork that makes you want to follow that tutorial? What is it that you want to learn the most from that particular tutorial? Is it learning texture, fur, transparency? The list can go on. By identifying those goals beforehand, you can focus on those elements the most to gain the highest level of knowledge that lesson provides. I'm not saying the other things don't matter, but if you focus on too much in one lesson, it can become overwhelming. By breaking it down in this manner, you have a greater chance of success because you are more focused. My goals for this Will Smith tutorial was to learn to see the skin colors and proper layering techniques to avoid the plastic look. I will go more into that shortly. Tip number four, use the tutorial as a guide. Step-by-step -step tutorials are a great resource. If you are completely new to a medium, then by all means, follow each step in the tutorial until you get the basic knowledge of how a medium works. Once you have a few under your belt and or have the basic knowledge of how the medium works, the best way to improve your art quickly using tutorials is to use them as a guide instead of following each step by step. This is key to improving quickly. Until you start making the decisions on your own, you will continue to rely on someone telling you what to do next or what color to lay down and in what order. For the piece I'm working on in the background, I followed Kirsty's step-by-step -step for eyes and surrounding areas. While I'm confident in the eyes themselves, I wasn't for the skin around the eyes. Once we got past both eyes and surrounding areas, I then paused the video and started working on my own. Remember the goals I set? I really focused on layering the skin as I worked in those areas, keeping in mind how she did it and the order she layered. I then took that knowledge and started working the next area, which was the nose. I had the option of scrubbing through the video to see how she accomplished or layered something, but luckily I was able to translate what I learned in doing the eye area into the nose. Essentially, practicing the layering technique and starting to make my own decisions on how to layer. The colors were already chosen. It was just a matter of applying them to the paper. As I progressed, I tried to work in the same order she did in her videos. So if I got lost, I would be able to easily find where I may have had a question to guide me through that area. 
Moving around the face, I again did not watch the video, as I was confident in my layering process by the time I got to it. But now I needed to learn how to see the colors within the skin. So I started focusing on what the underlayers in each area were, then continued on to the middle and top layers, essentially training myself to see the colors within the colors. This was my other goal. So I really focused on it in order to achieve the realism I was going for. Once I got to his beard, I then wanted to see how she tackled that. So I did watch a bit of the video and scrub through it to different parts to get the general idea of how she created it. I really focused on the highlighted areas under the chin to see what the methods were she used to achieve the bright white. Once I was happy with all of that, I then moved on to the hair. Now this is something that I also struggle with, human hair. I did watch most of it through and found that she changed her technique not too far in, which in itself was fine, but I decided I wanted to continue on and see how it looked. So I again paused the video and continued on with what I was doing and only resumed after I was satisfied with my current layering to see how she layered the colors to create the rest of the hair texture. Overall, I used the tutorial about 20 to 30% of the time as a guide to get me started and through some of the areas that I had questions or wanted to see her technique and approach. Because I made many of the decisions on my own and had just two goals to focus on with this piece, I feel both were successful and I am much more confident with portraits. I was skeptical at first, but to go from this to this with just one tutorial using these tips was amazing in itself. I am more confident knowing that I can achieve realism and color portraits and do not have to rely on someone telling me each step. I can make those choices on my own. Now, I realize everyone is different and learns differently, but I also know if you don't start making decisions on your own for your art pieces and blindly follow tutorials over and over, your improvement and confidence building will be at a much slower rate. You will also miss out on developing your own techniques and strategies working through a piece. Do you have any additional tips for following tutorials? Let me know in the comments below and if you are new to the channel and found this video helpful, consider subscribing and a share is always appreciated. I'm Wendy O'Brien, thanks for watching and until next time, keep on arting.